guys, it's Abby, and today I'm coming on to share with you some of my favorite high-end items as well as some less expensive alternatives if you guys want to have something nice but you just don't want to pay the high-end prices for them. Now I am in no way saying that this is a dupe video and I am not by any means suggesting or encouraging anyone to go out and purchase counterfeit items. This is not what type of video this is. This is definitely just going to be a video to give you an option that is less expensive than the high-end item. Before we get into the video, I have some flat twists in my hair right now. I'm not ready to take them down, so I threw a hat on. My lipstick is Rebel by MAC. So let's get right into the video. So the first item that I wanna share with you is my Neverfull MM bag. This is the medium size one. And this is a Louis Vuitton bag. And the price on this, um, I'll include the price on this bag somewhere here in the video. Um, but this bag is a very, very sturdy, very durable bag. Um, I showed it to you before. I kind of emptied out my bags for this video. But here's the inside of it. It's very, very spacious. Um, I put a lot of stuff in here. Like I've carried Aubrey's diapers and sometimes like wipes and you know all kinds of stuff i put my laptop in here haven't had any problems with it well since i started using this bag as like a diaper bag i was like well maybe i should get something that's nice but that's a little less expensive than the price for this one so a great less expensive alternative is this bag by michael kors this bag is almost identically built um in comparison to the Neverfull. Um, it's very, very sturdy as well. The only difference in this bag is that it has a little pocket in the back. But other than that, I mean, they are literally very, very close in the way that they look. Um, I like this because it's dark on the inside. I can put Aubrey's stuff in here. If it spills, it's okay. I don't have to worry about it messing up the interior. Like it's um, easily, able to be cleaned like you can take a cloth and wipe it out or whatever so instead of paying the thousand dollars for a Louis Vuitton bag it's definitely a great alternative for something that's still nice that you can still enjoy and um, you don't have to pay as much for it as you would if you wanted to get a uh, Louis Vuitton bag. the next item I wanted to share with you guys it's kind of like an accessory I do wear frames like I wear glasses that have prescription in them and um, my glasses are these DKNY frames right here. And just so you can see, I really, really love these frames. They work well with my face. And these frames were about $175, I believe. To give you a cheaper alternative, if you look on the shelves, like when you go to um, purchase your eyeglasses, there are a ton of other frames there. And if you don't want the name brand ones, you can definitely get another pair. This pair is actually brown, but it's very, very similar. And instead of the 175 I paid for the other frames, these ones were only $8. So um, I think these are a nice option. And if you wear glasses, um, be sure to check out the less expensive rack as well as the designer ones, because you'll be quite surprised as to um, what you're gonna find over on the less expensive side. And these are really, really nice frames as well. The next item that I want to share with you guys is my Pandora bracelet. Um, I got this for Christmas, one of my Christmas items. I have maybe about 12 to 13 charms on here. And when I got it for Christmas, I actually honestly did not even know what it was. My husband was like, you know, here's a Pandora bracelet. And I was like, okay, thank you. But I had, I'm so late to the party. Like I, I never even heard of these things before. Like I've seen them before, but I didn't know about it. So anyways, um, like I said, I have about 12 to 13 charms on my bracelet. And the cost of each charm ranges from like $30 on up. They can get as expensive, I think it's at like 100 plus. And um, I know some of the charms that I have on mine are like 69, 70 bucks. The cost of the bracelet itself with no charms is like $100 maybe, or just a little less than 100. 
and with the price of each charm this bracelet can easily get very very expensive so if you don't want to pay hundreds of dollars for a charm bracelet but you do like that look then there are many many options this first bracelet is a travel bracelet that I uh, purchased and I really really love this bracelet and I normally wear this one stacked with my um, glam stack by Julia and what I'll do, I'll include some pictures of some of uh, Body Glam's bracelets in here in the video so you guys can see the different options she has, but she has a ton of charms. And actually, if you email her and let her know, she can probably find charms that are not even on her site. Like if you want something specific, she can definitely find it for you and make a bracelet that you will absolutely love. Before I got my Pandora bracelet, I would definitely just layer my arm with um, these. And I still do wear these bracelets, like I'll put it on my other hand or, you know, I can even put it on the same hand as my Pandora bracelet. So those are definitely a great, great alternative if you do not want to pay hundreds of dollars for the Pandora bracelet and the charms that go on them. The last few items that I'm going to be sharing with you guys right now are a couple of my high-end shoes. You've seen these ones in a ton of videos or maybe on Instagram, I don't know. I received these um, Gucci pumps maybe two years ago for Christmas. So these shoes I wear to church, I can wear out, I can put on with some jeans, a nice dress. Like these are classic black pumps. It's kind of like your little black dress. These are great to have, they go with almost anything. These are a pair of red bottoms that I just purchased um, a couple weeks ago. I will include the price below. Um, I think they were like $8.45 for these ones. A pretty nice size heel. So these red bottoms are kind of similar to my Gucci pumps. They look a little like, of course, you know, there are major differences. But um, again, just a simple black pump. The Gucci pumps were about $600 and the um, red bottoms after tax came out to about nine something. So if you don't want to pay $600 to $1,000 for shoes these are a pair of steve maddens i got these when i used to live in atlanta which was um years ago i think i bought these in 2008 maybe and i've had these shoes for ever like i think i paid maybe 39 bucks for them i got them from tj maxx or ross one of the stores that had them on sale and they almost always have um steve madden shoes for a very good price. These are very, very sturdy. Like I said, I've had them for years and I still wear them. These are more of a shiny um, patent leather black pump. So great, great alternative if you don't wanna spend hundreds or close to thousand dollars on shoes. Another brand that's less expensive than Louboutins or Gucci or anything like that um, is Sam Edelman. These are very, very, very cute. I love the heel on them simple classic pump and I believe these ones were like 120 maybe I can't remember I think they were like 119 and I got these ones from uh, Saks but $120 you can't beat that um, for some nice nice quality shoes and I've had these for a while and another pair of Sam Edelman it's pretty much the same shoe as um, this one with the strap and the peep toe right here but these ones are just simply the polka dot ones. So great brand to have if you're interested in a good quality shoe, but you don't wanna pay a whole, whole lot of money for it. I believe that is all that I have to share with you guys today. Um, hopefully you have enjoyed the video. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know if you like to see videos like this or you know if you have any other type of video that you wanna see, please leave it below in the comments. And um, yeah, I think that's about it. Make sure you guys check me out on Instagram at naturally EJ Halo and click the link above if you want to see the latest video of Aubrey's updates and smash cake session.